Here at Green Our Planet, we run a school garden program. We have an outdoor program and a hydroponics program. We routinely receive inquiries from schools all over the country that would like to join our program. Last fall, we received an email that was really unusual. The email said, we are a small Native American school 70 miles north of the Arctic Circle in the village of Vinitai, Alaska. Because we are above the Arctic Circle, we have a really short growing season, about four months a year. The fresh fruits and vegetables that do arrive in the village are flown in by bush plane, and therefore it's very expensive. And by the time they get there, they're usually freezer burned and of very low quality. Um, we see heads of lettuce for $9. We see tomatoes for $2.50 each. Because of this, we live a subsistence lifestyle eating caribou and fish but not a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables. We really would like to figure out a way to grow fresh food here. Can you help us? The average school in Las Vegas has about five to 700 students. So I wondered how many students are in this school? So I wrote to them and I asked about 48, K through 12. So I wondered how many people were in the village. And uh, I find out that it's about 160 people. We're dealing with an incredibly small group of people living in a very remote place. I knew that we could help them. The person who wrote me is named Bob Pym, and he is the principal and the third through fifth grade teacher. Hello, my name is Bob Pym, up here at John Francis School at Beanie Alaska. Negative 15 degrees and it's snowing. So I knew that we could help them, but I didn't quite know how we were going to get everything to them. Um, we've never shipped anything 70 miles north of the Arctic Circle before. Um, I did know, of course, that everything had to be flown in by bush plane, but I didn't know how to get things to the bush plane. I started talking with, with Bob and with others, and we came up with a plan. Turns out, the hydroponics unit gets flown to Tacoma, Washington. It would go onto a ship, and be sailed up to Anchorage. Then it gets on the bush plane and gets flown to Vinitai. That whole process took about four weeks. So during those four weeks, I'm waiting, I'm anticipating, hoping that everything gets to Vinitai okay. Finally, I get an email from Bob. Everything's there. Then he sent a video. as Bob was unpacking those boxes and showing them everything that had arrived. They were so excited. Some of the PVC pipe that we saw on the video. Although we send hydroponic systems all over the country, this particular arrival was really exciting. Everyone in the office was watching the video. <laughs> We are going to uh, have the students start growing some uh, vegetables through the kits that we received and also help with a lot of math and science with the hydroponics. By having the system in their school, these students are going to learn science, nutrition, conservation. And then on top of that, they're going to be able to produce enough lettuce for everybody in their village and extend their growing season by eight months a year. Bob from uh, Vinitai again. We have planted our seedlings today in our classroom, so the classroom is very excited about that. Once our plants start uh, sprouting a little bit, we'll kind of give you an update and a picture of what they look like. Take care. It's really exciting and rewarding to think about the impact that our program will have in this remote village of Vinitai, Alaska. And we would like to thank Las Vegas Sands Corporation for their sponsorship of this program. Thank you.